we are back with another video and as promised I am going to be reviewing the new products from curls and this is their poppin pineapple collection all right you guys so we're going to go through these products really quickly so the first product that we have is the so so clean and this is the curl wash and all of these products are infused with vitamin c so on the packaging it says that it's formulated with vitamin a b1 b6 c for shiny longer thick and healthy curls enhances hair growth increases sebum production and decreases hair loss so, that is what this whole collection is geared towards. So we have the Curl Wash, we have the So So Moist Curl Mask, we also have the So So Smooth Leave-In Conditioner, and we have the So So Def, and this is the Curl Defining Jelly. And last but not least, we have the So So Fresh, and this is the scalp treatment, right? Yeah, scalp treatment with vitamin C and mint. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use all of these products today. The only one that I'm like, what do I want to do with this is the jelly. So it says, apply So So Def Vitamin C Curl Defining Jelly to wet, freshly cleansed and conditioned curls. Finger into hair, section by section, allow hair to air dry. Apply So So Def Vitamin C Curl Defining Jelly to dry hair as touch-ups as touch-up are needed or to smooth your hair or edges. So I guess you can use this on wet hair, dry hair, and basically as an edge control or maybe just to like slay your edges. I mean, that's what I'm getting from the description. I know... 10 million of y'all are going to ask about glycerin. I do not see glycerin in the ingredients on the back of the jelly. Now, if glycerin is under another name, my bad. So, of course, as always, y'all know that my hair is raggedy. It's still in braids from like three days ago. So, I'm going to take these braids out and then I am going to come back with the shampoo. Look, you guys, I told y'all I was going to get it in black. I told you guys it was. And I did.
All right, hey you guys. So I am back with my final review. Real quick, for those that always ask me like what I do to stretch my hair, I use a blow dryer. I use the, I think it's the Conair Silverbird. I think I've told you guys that I don't really use Curls products often, if at all. I just, I feel like they just don't work for my, personally, my hair. This whole collection is infused with vitamin C. It says formulated with vitamin A, B1, B6, C for shiny, longer, thick, and healthy curls. Enhances hair growth, increases sebum, scalps, natural oil production, and decreases hair loss. So you will have to use these products for a while to even start to see some of those claims. You're definitely not going to notice that just on the first use. So this honestly is just on how the products feel to me and my hair on first use because I haven't used these products for like a month or two continuously to see if to see if any of those claims are correct. So I just want to put that out there. The shampoo, I feel like, was okay, but it, it wasn't as moisturizing to me. I felt like I felt like I was getting tangles in my hair while using it. Like I was trying to get through it and I was just like, baby. But is it horrible? No, not by any means. It is not a horrible shampoo. If you're looking for something that's gonna clean your hair, that's another thing. I didn't feel like my hair was like clean, clean. Like you know how you get like that squeaky clean feeling or like your hair just feels like, just your scalp just feels like minty fresh? I really didn't get that. But for me, the curl wash was just okay. It's not something that I would go out and purchase, but again, that is just me. Look at how bent this bottle, look at how bent this bottle is, child. Okay, so this is a So So Moist Vitamin C Curl Mask. Um, child, I got my hair all over it. So this is the deep conditioner, basically. When I, when I tell you that this is so, this is, this is so thick, but like this is, for this to be as thick as it is, it has absolutely no point being in a bottle. Like that is just, this needs to be in a jar because it is so stupid. I was struggling so hard. Like at one point I was like, should I just cut the bottle in half? And I feel like because it's so thick, you use so much of it and it is so difficult to squeeze the product out of this bottle. It is literally a nightmare. Also, I feel like your hair needs to be so, when I say soaking wet, like your hair needs to be soaking wet to really put this on. Cause I felt like I had to keep like re-wetting my hair because it is so incredibly thick. Like even if my hair is just like, damn, it, it was, I felt like it was just sitting on top of my hair instead of like really, like, you know, when you get like that super slippery mask, it is just like soaking into your hair. You like, this about to be bomb. I was not getting that with this. I wasn't because it is it's just so thick it's so difficult to work with for me washing the mask out of my hair I did wash it with cool water and I did feel like my hair felt soft it just didn't feel like it didn't give me like that oh, holy grail or even just next wash day I'm using this like you know when you use a deep conditioner even if it's not like your ultimate favorite you feel like okay well i'm not gonna use this again and it's gonna work for my hair like i i didn't i didn't feel that way at all i was just like okay well i got that out the way like that's how i felt like i would not be dying to go to walmart to pick this up now the leave-in conditioner came out of the bottle extremely well over the mask which Again, 
if it was going to be this thick, it should have been like in a jar. Um, but anyway, there is slip to the leave-in conditioner. A lot of slip, not, not the slip that I'm used to or what I like, but it does have slip. Like I'm not going to hate on the leave-in conditioner, not have a slip. It does. You don't even need to use a lot of this. A little does actually go a long way with the leave-in conditioner. I do like this. I just don't think it's something that I'm going to like run to the store and get, but it's, it's good. I'm definitely going to use it again. Um, but <laughs> last but not least is the So So Def. This is the Curl Defining Jelly. Let me tell you, this jelly is light, girl. Like this jelly is light. And I noticed, like, when I was braiding my hair. Like, I felt like I was being really heavy-handed because I'm naturally just heavy-handed. When it was drying and I was touching my hair, I was like, oh, this is really soft. Like, my braids felt really soft. Normally, like, my hair will feel soft, but it'll have, like, a slight, like, you could feel the hold in it, if that makes sense. This was just, like, super, super, super light. So I was like, oh, this ain't about to have no hold, like, my hair felt extremely moisturized. It even looked shiny, but I knew the hold was gonna be kinda like just non-existent. Like when I was taking my hair down, I could see the shine, I could see the definition, but I knew as soon as I started to like separate, I knew it was about to be Frizz City. As soon as I did, it was Frizz City. Like I could just, ugh. Like, in my hair now, you can see the definition, but you can also see, like, that it's a little frizzy. There's no way that I can, like, go second, third, fourth day without reapplying. Now, this does say that you can reapply to dry hair. So, if you're someone like me that does rebraid or retwist their hair, you can use this on your hair to rebraid or retwist. However, for, for those of you that do wash and goes, like I'm pretty sure you don't do your wash and goes every single day. To me, the holds is just not, it's just not there. Baby, it's, it's, it's 80 degrees today. Do you think I could go outside like this and come back looking exactly like this? It's, it's not, no, it's not gonna happen. Like, if I step, <laughs> if I step outside like this right now, I'm not coming back looking like this. Like, because there is no hold, sis. Like, nothing. So maybe this is for someone that likes that kind of like beach wave look. Like, ah, chat. So anyway, you guys, that is my final review on the new Curls collection. Definitely let me know if you have picked these products up. You can find them in your local Walmart. I don't think that they're on the Walmart site yet. If I remember correctly, all of the products are $9.97. But anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all soon. 